cash machines are failing in uh, Britain and now other European countries. They're finding large amounts of explosives in France. The big news on Y2K. Then we'll start going to your calls. 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. You know, I've always wondered what it would be like to hear myself on the radio. Even when I was a kid, I only had one dream. I didn't want to be an astronaut or, or a ninja or a, or a firefighter. I just wanted to be on the radio. You learn a lot of things along the way. You learn how to tell a story. And not just in a way that's funny to your friends, you, you learn how to tell a story that capulates your audience and, and, and draws their attention and could take even the most cold-hearted person and make them open their eyes, even if it's just for a second. That is the most important lesson I've learned since starting down this road. The world is a crazy place. Beautiful crazy, but but still crazy. The speed at which it, it moves from point A to point B can only be described as monumental, and, and it only gets exponentially faster the, the more your focus drifts. It's five minutes midnight and I'm dedicating this broadcast to you as a great man once said in a way far better than anything I could come up with here's to my misfits my rebels my troublemakers to the youth the naive to the ones who chose instead of the status quo to forge their own path Here's to the inventors. To the ones in the audience who refuse to give up, who refuse to give in, who chose instead of conforming to the world they live in, chose to force the world to adapt to them. Here's to those of you who understood that even though we may want to, changing the world isn't the most important accomplishment we could achieve. Reports are still coming in, speculating what's going to happen when the clock strikes midnight. And honestly, I don't know where we'll be tomorrow. I could be right here talking to you. Or... To everyone who's been kind enough to me to allow me to entertain you to the best of my abilities, I hope I succeeded. I hope you never forget who you are. That you constantly keep moving forward to adapt from consistency. To choose chaos over normality. Manic over static. To choose love over solitude. And that you remember that when that one person comes into your life, they do not do it quietly. They explode into your existence without a care in the world for what's going on in your life. So you can continue on as if nothing happened. Or you can choose to break the mold. Because nobody knows what's going to happen ten years from now, or, or one year from now, or even at this point, one day from now. And remember, the dark is only a momentary absence of light. So I'd like to thank you for spending any amount of time with me instead of doing something much more important. From the bottom of my heart, I cherish the time we've spent together. 
And even though I might question why, after a whole career of wanting to report something life-changing, it is with a heavy heart that I have to inform you this may be my last broadcast. So thank you. My friends, my family, my audience. How was that? You're a beautiful bastard, you know that? <laughs> Go home, Jake. I will when you will. What do you think everybody else is doing right now? I don't know. You think they're just counting the minutes, or maybe praying that nothing happens? But I like to imagine there's some place outside of work. I'm getting double for this, right? Well, hazard pay if I have anything to say about it. I mean, I, I don't really get a chance to say it, but, uh, I mean, if I say it later, I... I know. Do you think it's really gonna happen? Honestly? Who wants to know?